This is Shaheen. Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on the Pradesh class 10 chapter number 7 coordinate geometry exercise 7.1 seventh problem. Prove that the points minus 7 comma minus 3, 5 comma 10, 15 comma 8 and 3 comma minus 5 taken in order or the corners of a parallelogram. Corners of a parallelogram like this. This is a parallelogram points corners okay these are corners so minus 7 comma minus 3 5 comma 10 15 comma 8 and 3 comma minus 5 so you find out a b distance is equal to d c distance and b c distance is equal to a d distance and diagonals here AC is not equal to BD so you solve like that okay let let A minus 7 comma minus 3 B 5 comma 10 C 15 comma 8 and D 3 comma minus 5 okay distance between a b in square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square a minus 7 comma minus 3 and b 5 comma 10 x1 y1 x2 y2 in square root of x2 x2 means 5 minus x1 means minus 7 minus into minus plus 7 whole square plus of y2 10 minus y1 means minus 3 minus into minus plus 3 whole square in square root of 5 plus 7 12 12 square plus 13 square 12 square means 144 plus 13 square means 169 that implies square root of 144 169 13 11 3 3 1 3 okay next distance between BC BC in square root of x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square b point 5 comma 10 c point 15 comma 8 x1 y1 x2 y2 in square root of x2 15 minus x1 5 whole square plus y2 8 minus y1 10 whole square that implies 15 minus 5 10 10 square plus 8 minus 10 minus 2 whole square that implies 10 square means 100 plus minus 2 whole square means 4 equal to 104 root 104 next distance between CD in square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y, y2 minus y1 whole square C point 15 comma 8 D point 3 comma minus 5 x1 y1 x2 y2 in square root of x2 x2 means 3 minus x1 means 15 whole square plus y2 y2 means minus 5 minus y1 means 8 whole square in square root of 3 minus 15 minus 12 whole square plus of 8 of minus 5 minus 8 minus 13 whole square okay 
that implies minus 12 whole square means 144 minus 13 whole square means 169 that implies root 313 okay next beta distance between da in square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square d 3 comma minus 5 a minus 7 comma minus 3 substitute here this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 y1 means minus 5 minus into minus plus 5 whole square in square root of minus 7 minus 3 minus 10 whole square plus minus 3 plus 5 2 2 whole square that implies root 100 plus 4 root 104 so sides are complete now diagonals distance between ac x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square a minus 7 comma minus 3 c c point 15 comma 8 this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 substitute here x2 15 minus x1 minus 7 minus into minus plus 7 whole square plus y2 8 minus y1 minus 3 minus into minus plus 3 whole square in square root of 15 plus 7 22 whole square plus 8 plus 3 11 whole square that implies 22 whole square 22 into 22 ma 2 2 is a 4 2 2 is a 4 4 4 4 4 4 8 4 4 84 plus 11 square 121 121 5 10 6 so root 6 not 5 okay better next last one distance between bd in square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square b point ma 5 comma 10 and d point 3 comma minus 5 x1 y1 x2 y2 in square root of x2 means 3 minus x1 means 5 whole square plus y2 minus 5 minus y1 10 whole square that implies 3 minus 5 minus 2 whole square plus of minus 5 minus 10 minus 15 whole square root minus 2 whole square 4 plus 15 whole square 225 so root 225 plus 4 229 therefore ab equal to dc ab value is root 313 ma okay next C, uh, BC ma BC equal to AD BC distance and AD distance 104 next AC is not equal to BD because AC value is root 605 and this value is 229 therefore the given points the given points are 
forms a parallelogram. Okay, this is about question number seven solution ma. Next class we will discuss question number eight solution. Thank you for watching my video. Take care to all of you.